Hi everybody, it is December 16, 2017. Are you sick of government yet? Are you sick of local, state, and federal government? New ordinance outlaws giving money to panhandlers. Violators will be fined and jailed. No joke. A new ordinance just made it illegal to give money to panhandlers and offenders. If you want to help out somebody who's hurting, living on the street, you face jail time and $500 fine. A $500 fine, Wichita, Kansas. Used to be known as Cowtown because of its cattle trade. But now, now, clearly it is known as tyrannical town. I am so sick of this, this country, people in it, local government, government officials thinking that they have the absolute right to pass laws that are so grossly immoral, inhumane, unjust, laws that hurt other people. Why? Well, because we are a tyrannical country and law enforcement, they want their money for anything that you do. So you got to get a, you got to get permits in a lot of cities to feed the homeless. Here, cops brag about harassing homeless men, fixing bikes for money. So Facebook destroyed them. Unbelievable how sick so many Americans are, so twisted. It's as if, it's as if Americans have lost their moral center, their moral compass, their moral core. And here we have a group called Don't Comply who decided to go against Dallas, Texas's law. That law? In December 2014, the Dallas City Council enacted Ordinance Number 29595, which makes it illegal to serve food to the homeless without jumping through a status myriad of bureaucratic hoops, including a fee, training classes, and written notices. Get that permit. You gotta get the permit. You gotta get a permit. My God. You know, a six-year-old child, police, demand that their lemonade stand be taken away because they don't have a permit. You know, Americans, you're the only ones who can stop this. So, unfortunately, in Dallas, Texas, they decided to defy the law by a lot of men carrying AR-15s. And guess what? The police saw them. The police saw them and just drove on by. Well, and here's Show Me Baby. Now, people, you got to get active. You got to get active in your own communities. You have to not comply. You have to break these grossly immoral laws. I will link below to this and you can see this video. Men out there with AR-15s defying Dallas's law. No, we are going to help those who are needing help. But how many Americans do comply? That's the problem that we're having. I'll link below to all of the articles. It is so sad to see that these laws are, are, they are being passed all over the country. But how, how could it possibly be? Kansas, 
Kansas. Well, my hunch is that you give an all, uh, have an awful lot of Christians in your state. And you allow this? You allow this? Somebody who wants to help somebody in need. You allow your legislature to pass a law that says you help somebody in need, you face a $500 fine and going to jail. Okay, I'm going to say it again. I have spoken to a lot of people. I receive comments from a lot of people. We're a Christian nation. We're a Christian nation. We are a Christian nation. If we were a Christian nation genuinely, authentically, we would never have manifested this nightmare. We have an awful lot of Christians in our country. But are they really Christian? Or do they just like to slap that label on themselves because it makes them feel good? If people were really trying to emulate Christ as best they could in their life, we would never have manifested this nightmare.